access to Midjourney's secret alpha website so you can stop using Discord to generate your images. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to do it. So here's the place it all starts is with a little update in the Midjourney news section. And unless you're following the Discord and go to their announcement section, you're not going to notice it, which is absolutely fine. There's a couple of updates we're going to cover and then we're getting to right how you can have access to the new Midjourney Alpha. So first thing is that version six now supports pan, zoom, and vary. They've added some cool updates, which is awesome. And they're continuing to improve version six and hopefully eventually they'll pull it out of alpha mode. Number two is that alpha.midjourney.com, which has image creation, is now available to the 5,000 club. You have to generate 5,000 images with Midjourney and then you get access to alpha.midjourney.com. So let's show you, let's copy the link. And they have another section where you can do feedback, but this is the important part right here is how can I get access? So the question is how many images do you have to do? So let me go to my AI server and I was testing this to find out. So you type in info in the chat, anywhere you have access to Midjourney, and it will give you that information. And the question is how many images have I generated? I've been using this for a year as a pretty heavy user. And am I in the 5,000 club? You can see that I've actually generated around 13,500 images. So 10,440 at fast and during relax 2,189. So I'm double. This is why I've had access for a little while, but it also means it's pretty hard to get access to alpha. Unfortunately, you have to be a pretty heavy user maxing out your hours every month and maybe just going hog wild on the relaxed mode to hit this number. Let me show you exactly what alpha looks like. When you go to alpha.midjourney.com, if you're not logged in, you have to re-log in all the time. You're still logging in via Discord because that's how they set up their system. So my account is tied to Discord. There's not a separate way for me to log in yet. You can see it's still pulling Discord. I have to reauthorize this every time I log in and I don't need to save the password because there is no password. And this is what it looks like. They're constantly updating the look here and trying to improve it. There's some interesting things you can do. They've added a new archive section. So you can create folders, which you can see here to organize your stuff by different categories. And when you're looking, you can say, only show me my upscales. Now this is only the images I picked from groups of four or only the grids of four images. These are all images without the upscales. You can choose that or you can do all. I tend to just look at the upscales because that means that's one I picked. You can also choose images that were of different sizes like square landscape portrait. So you can get a little more organized. The real magic happens here at create. This is where they've added a few new features. Once you have 5,000 images, you can do everything here. There are pros and cons to this. So the first is that I don't have to type slash image anymore. If I want to copy something, I can just copy paste it like this. And these other ones, which are even better, see how they have a little plus symbol? A plus symbol means that I can reuse it and it adds it right there. Now it's going to do it in version six. The other way to add these modifiers is here. Now this, it's okay. It doesn't have every single one of them. You can see it only gives you three aspect ratios. And I mine right there is in a different one, 16 by nine, right? You're watching a 16 by nine video. <laughs> it's a very common dimension. And that's not four by three. Four by three is the dimensions of a television from the 1980s. Unfortunately, this still has a little bit ways to go, but it's interesting. You can choose stylization and drag it from zero to 1000. Weirdness, you can play around with the variety. These are two new ones that kind of mean surprise me. You can see, you can choose which mode you want, relaxed, fast, or turbo. Standard or rough. You can go all the way back to version one of Midjourney, which means you're getting a rough image. I do go back to 5.2 quite a bit for my image generations because six just defaults to a much more realistic image. And I don't always want that. And the Niji four and five are the anime styles. So the most important thing is that you get access to the hot or not section. I covered this a few weeks ago in my video about hot or not with Midjourney, where you can choose the better images. I cover that right here. And also they have a cool feed where you can look at what a lot of people are creating. I use these a lot to get ideas. So I scroll through, if I see a good image, you hit heart and then you save the prompt. You can reuse it later. So for example, like this image is too, it's too filtered. So this is what it looks like when you put Vaseline on a camera lens. It's an old camera technique and everything's a little bit out of focus, right? The sides is too shiny. That's an unrealisticness to me. Same thing here, whereas this doesn't have it as much. It has it a little bit. Let's zoom in. This to me looks more like a real photograph. That's a pretty accurate picture. It looks pretty real. The prompt is everything amazing in it. This is a Ninja Turtles type thing. Let's see what this is. Fanny portrait, venture standing in a swamp. First is a lizard man, frog man, snake man, rogue. I like this. People are getting really creative. 
So you can get a lot of ideas here. All of this happens once you've generated 5,000 images. So go into Discord, hit that info, see how close you are. And if you're close, just cross the bridge. They're going to keep lowering that number. Probably next they'll do 3,000 or 2,500 and eventually give access to everyone, which is what they should do. I know a lot of you guys are waiting for access right out the gate. They just haven't granted that yet, but hopefully they will soon. As you can see, you can get mid journey alpha access as long as you've generated 5,000 images, which means you do still have to go through discord. I know a lot of you are annoyed by that. I know a lot of people I talk to who want access to mid journey are not interested in going through discord because you have to learn one, one system to learn another, especially knowing they're building out the website. I think they're making a mistake. I think they should give access to alpha to their newest users. It would open them up to a massive new user base. I am still 90% of the time using discord because I've developed the habit. Switching to a new habit is a little bit hard. There's one advantage to Discord that they don't have an alpha yet, which is the organization. On my Discord, I have everything organized by different folders. I have a social media folder. I have a YouTube folder. I have a folder for doing coloring books. I can see my past prompts organized that way. To do that inside of alpha, I have to create folders manually and manually put the image in there instead of going into that category and then creating the image. Let me know your thoughts below. What do you guys think? Is alpha ready? Do you wish you had access to alpha? Is it kind of annoying that you have to generate enough images to earn right to use the website, which is what everyone wants access to anyways? Let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna see what you guys think and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked that video, I think you're gonna like this one or maybe even this one. Check them out.